Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and thank you for joining me on this quick video today. And today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you are putting up into your stockpile just on the chance that if for some reason somebody deems it no longer necessary for you to have it like they have started doing like what Amazon is doing with the Mylar bags. Mylar bags will still be able to be bought from different vendors and stuff throughout on the internet and everything else, you will be paying a much higher price for those bags. So if you're looking to try to save some money and stuff, you have till August 5th to purchase those bags. But rest assured, you still can get those bags through other companies throughout the country, and it's just gonna cost you a lot more money. You wanna make sure that you are stocking up on your Mylar bags because those are a great way to preserve food, and you wanna make sure you are stocking up on oxygen absorbers to go along with those. Next, you want to make sure that you are stocking up on a vacuum sealer. Buy yourself a vacuum sealer. You don't have to get like the top of the line one. I would highly suggest spending the money, but it's all up to you and what your budget can afford. You want to make sure you have extra rolls of bags and everything else. Because this way here, if you run across a great deal at the grocery store and you get a good deal on meat, you can take that meat, vacuum seal it, put it in your freezer, and it's good for well over a year. You just extend the whole life of that product. All right, you can also vacuum seal your dry goods and beans and rice and all that kind of stuff. It works great too. You know, it's just another great tool to have in your toolbox. Now next is anything to do with canning. You know, a pressure canner, a canning jars, extra lids, all the different attachments and all the fun things that go with canning. You want to make sure that you are buying those. These are ways that we can preserve our foods and everything else for a very long time so that we can outlast the storm. And that's what they don't want us to do. So heed my little warning here. You might, might want to make sure that you are putting up some of these, all these different types of products this way you will be prepared and being prepared is the name of the game so i'm survival preparedness for beginners i'd like to thank you for joining me on this quick video today i hope you all stay prepped stay ready buy those different types of products that you probably should have and this way here you can continue putting up food for long-term food storage in case someone says higher up the food chain that is no longer necessary or there is a BS reason why you shouldn't have it and they take it away from you being able to purchase it. You all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.